The tree back behind me there uh, has been dead for a couple, a few years now, and so we're gonna get rid of it as part of the cleaning up this garden area. number we're at now but um, I'm gonna have to pour her some more epoxy uh, because the repour I did some of it sunk in again like you can see right here you can see little lines and it's down a little bit there so I gotta scuff it up with some sandpaper and pour like two millimeter milliliters of uh, epoxy That's it, that's all. I'm gonna have to hit that with some heat in a minute. But the other day I broke, tried to break the epoxy from the wood and uh, it's the wood that broke. So today I thought I'd try something a little more interesting, try smashing this with a hammer, see what happens. Small cat. Okay, so it does shatter. Good to know. We got small pieces scattered around here. It, uh, yeah, small pieces kind of went everywhere. I wish I had tested out the slow-mo feature ahead of time and this would have been a lot better for you, but that's okay. Melissa and I just went and picked up uh, this uh, triple, triple mix or something or other. Uh, didn't even have to get out of the truck. They just threw it right in the back of the truck and I'm gonna put a layer uh, about an inch thick through the garden. Uh, so she can start planting some seeds. So that was an offshoot off of uh, the crab apple tree that uh, was across the road yesterday, one of them that we ripped out. So we transplanted it here on our front lawn. Triple mix all spread out, looking good. We got our pond pump going. Uh, this pond's got a lot of fish. You can't really see in it right now because we just got the pump going, so it's a little murky. Uh, this pond was put in by m uh, my buddy and I who was living with me at the time. And uh, he just said he wanted a pond, so we started digging. Uh, he actually got married last weekend. So I attended two weddings from my house last weekend, uh, both on Saturday afternoon. So that was pretty cool. Got the pond running, looking good. 